It's a new season. It's a new look around the paddock. It's a new look team. Mm. Welcome to the 2024 Vera Tools British Kart Championship Paddock Show. Round one is halfway in the books. Andrew Mather, 200 drivers from 22 different nations here at PF International. What a day it's been. A really good day. We've uh, first 12 races here for the heats. More of them tomorrow before we get to the rapid charges and then the big ones, the pre-finals. Hello. Uh, and you the finals. See, buzzing with excitement is the paddock. That, that was uh, Luke Millwood, by the way, yeah, running through in his tie-dye outfit there. But, I mean, 22 nations, including... Yes. Jack Latvia Collinson. via Hartlepool. Jack Collinson. Jack's had a great day today. Very good day. Uh, talk us through. Um, first heat started P6. Uh, my quality was pretty good. Um, and then second after. Wait. The second heat, the second one. My, sec my second one, I had a really good heat. Uh, finished P2. Uh, led, led for a bit of the race. It was really strong heat. Um, in the last couple, well, uh, in my opinion, I think in the last couple of weeks I've improved a lot really with my driving standards, driving style, etc. So I think really, really, really strong, strong day, <laughs> and I think I'll be really hyped for the pre-final tomorrow. What's the thing you've learnt most today that you, you're taking in tomorrow that you perhaps didn't know at the start of the day? Um, just, just how tricky it is to actually maintain a good, like a good race at the front. Like with how many good strong drivers there is up there. Good stuff. Well, well on Jack. Uh, keep it up tomorrow. If uh, if anyone's taking a a, a bet on <laughs> how long it was going to take into a paddock show, give it what uh, two minutes. Henry, you, know, you, you found a pop. You know what they say: never work with animals and kids. Well, Neva interviewing a pooch. First things first. Want a first paddock show pooch of the year? It's a paddock show puppy of the year, right? Who is this? Lily. Lily, and who does Lily belong to? The Crowther family. The Crowther. This is Lily Crowther. Well, I think Lily Crowther has been a good luck charm. Well, tell you what, we'll go and speak to Mr Crowther yes. because Harrison Crowther, how old is Lily Crowther? Four months old. Four, Four months old. Oh, oh, my word. Oh, dear. Right. Well, the last time I, the last time I had a, a, a paddock pooch uh, called Sprinkles at Cartmasters here, they had a little sprinkle on me. But I tell you what, Andrew, <laughs> there's a uh, show... How you? But we'll go and speak to Harrison Crowther because he's been one of the stars of the show today, hasn't he, Andrew? Uh, yes. If we For mind. Coles it, Racing, you can see we're here. So, Saturday, 12 races in. Uh, the juniors and the seniors have had all their heat races. Uh, we're going to have one heat with Mini, Micro and Honda tomorrow morning. Or we would have had this because this is going out uh, during the Sunday lunch break. Let's have a look inside the Coles Racing tent uh, very quickly. Uh, here... All right, coach, how are you? Hello. How has it gone today? Um, not very well. Why not? Uh, I had DNF in the first one. Oh, dear. And, uh, well, I couldn't really get going in the second one, so. Ah, but all to play for tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully do well in the rep charge. Do you want to, uh, in the rep charge. Do you want to have a quick talk around the Coles Racing Awning to see who's done what today? So, we'll start with you here yeah with you charlie again for those of you who are wondering charlie cox used to be a british touring car commentator jensen butterfield is exiting stage left with dave wither so not good for charlie cox uh, how about hugh moulton charlie you can guide us round uh any good today mm. yeah, I think he's done right, to be honest. reg hayward in the corner there he set some fast lap times he doesn't did. he andrew yeah no it's a really good uh, good pace from reg uh, finding his way through the field so you know one of those drivers that i think we could look forward to later on yeah. later on in the round oh yeah, here, here he comes is. looking scruffy as always how was the puppy it's going it's all right how was the driving i drove like an idiot in the second heat well I didn't think you did. Disagree you were leading that. at one point. You fell back at the end. But what I would say is, I say to Andrew on commentary, it looks like 2024, after two years in a bit of the doldrums, you're back. Yeah. This is the Harrison crowd that we're so. used to seeing. Yeah. yeah? Happy. Is it, is, it because, is it because you've got Lily? I don't know. I think it's more my new helmet. Oh, the new helmet. Right, where's the new helmet? Where's the new helmet? That's an important... Helmets important always worth a good Paddock show puppies are one thing. Uh, new crash helmets. What, what's more... I'll speak to Harris's dad. What's more expensive, a puppy or a new crash helmet? I'm not entirely sure, but the helmet doesn't need feeding. Ah, oh, the helmet. The, hel <laughs> the helmet's more expensive at the moment. The helmet's more expensive until the puppy eats, a, like, chocolate or something like that, or grapes, which is bad. So the new helmet, nice. Yeah. OK. Uh, rest of the team, how have the rest of the team gone today? Oh, they've gone all right. There we go. Succinct. 
So, sick, thank you very much, Harrison. Point. You know, that's what yeah. we need. Right, yeah. well, move along. Hello, young man. Right, T tell us name, rank, serial number, and how your day's gone in less than five sentences. Uh, number 51, Hugh Moulton. Um, good recovery from qualifying. Uh, not sure where I'm starting tomorrow, but hopefully in the top 10 for the pre-final. Four sentences. Well done, Hugh. Let's go. That'll do. That'll right do. Then. Let's, let's go out this way. Let's have a look. There are mass, masses of media here. Uh, the paddock at PF International is, is, is always, always special, isn't it's, it? It's buzzing. I, I say that's. I think everyone's, you know, they've had the first day of racing. They're yeah. into the rhythm now of, of the season and uh, long season, but lots of hopes for everybody out there. Now, KR Sports uh, have had a good day as well today. We'll have a little chat uh, in here. Uh, let's have a look. I can see a few uh, people there. Well, some of them had a good day. Caden McQueen has had a very, very good first race. What was it like, Caden, racing? You had Bradshaw, Bishop, yourself in that second heat. That was nice and lively, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, got a little bit exciting, I think. Important question. Did your dad stay for the first race or did he bugger off home to cook his breakfast at four o'clock in the afternoon? <laughs> uh, no, he stayed. He stayed for the first one. He thought I stayed. Now, we got two more paddock show pooches down there. Oh, I don't know if they're going to match. Uh, I don't know if we're going to match Lily uh, Crowther. Thanks, uh, Caden. Let's have it. Oh, uh, well, first things first. Well, uh, uh, first paddock show mum of the year. Hello. Hello. Uh, and hello. Hi. Here we go. And who are you? Uh, Josh Cook's mum. Josh Cook's mum. You're Josh Cook. No, you're Josh Cook's mum. Uh, sorry. Sorry. This is Willow and this is Chester. Willow. Hello, Willow. And this is Chester. Chester Copperpot, the black Cocker Spaniel. Excellent. That's three Paddock Show pooches inside the first. Thing. How's Josh's? Uh, so, O Plate win la uh, three weeks ago after not leading anything until about the last 30 metres. Well timed move. Well, it well, was a well timed move. It was a smart, smart move. Uh, there, there's jo Archie That's Archie Walker's cart. There we go. Where he is. Don't know where Archie is. Sorry. No, that's quite right. Sorry. We'll move. We'll move down the paddock. I don't know what. Uh, while well, Andrew's sorting his microphone out, we'll come down this way. Thank you very much, uh, Josh's mum and uh, the two dogs, Willow and Chester. Um, how's Fuel Your Media doing? Kirsty Hockley, uh, one of many, many, many media representatives here. How are your drivers doing, young lady? A uh, mixture. A mixture. <laughs> um, you've got a new employee called Chris, haven't you? Yes. No, I've seen him sitting on the bank in saying it's the only place I can get a signal, but he's really just sitting on Tinder flicking. <laughs> probably, probably. But shocking. Photos and they're uploading, so I'm waiting for him right now. <laughs> okay, well you'll be waiting a while because you can't get any signal anywhere. There we go. Typical employees. Uh, so so day. What have you noticed? Uh, media, obviously running a press agency, working with drivers. What have you noticed this year about the, 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 the championship? Has it grown or have more drivers started taking the press side of things seriously? Yeah, yeah. They're like improving a lot, a lot of um, getting better at interviews and things like that. And they're realising the importance of it to like move forward in their career as well. Indeed. Okay, thank you very much. There we go. We'll have a little look here. So the KR Sport, lots of wagons being cleaned. There's Vlad Tomenchuk's cart. I'm not quite sure what's happened to, uh, well, really to Andrew. Henry, is it working? We're doing, we're doing uh, Caden's down there doing something else. Ignore Caden. Are we all right there, Andrew? It's good. Caden McQueen, he's not just a quick driver. He's good with... with Oh, Kate, Caden fixed it. Well, then, Caden, he's good, as well. good for something. Right, should we go out this way yep. and catch up with Hunter Motorsport? We will. No, thank you very much, KR Sports. Um, two more paddock show pooches. Uh, Hunter Motorsports. Ooh, an interesting day for Hunter Motorsports. Uh, Kai Hunter, very quick, maybe not a great deal of luck. No. But let's, we've had a look at the Carlos Sainz chassis, haven't yes. we? Yes. Let's yeah, have we'll a little have look, look in here. Again. We'll have a closer look. We'll try and find, ah, here's Max Jolly's uh, mechanic. So Mr. Mackerel is hard at work. Um, the Carlos Sainz chassis uh, for the Hunter Motorsport team. Hunter Motorsport, the UK distributors. Is that right? How's Max's day gone? It uh, could be better to be honest with you, uh, made a few mistakes in that last one but we'll, we'll get there for tomorrow, definitely. Um, now you, you were obviously with Max, Max has got a huge social media following with his thing, that's incredible isn't it? Have you, uh, did you find that you know that helps him as a driver or in any way? Uh, yeah, we get a lot of people coming up to him and asking him questions about his social media. He, even drivers out there, he's got a lot of fans, so I think he does have a lot of respect. So, yeah, and, and, and it's a, it's a learning curve. So all these drivers, and and it's not Max hasn't employed somebody to do fancy reels, or sh or show reels. He just takes his little microphone and he goes, "Hello, I'm Max Jolly, and this is what I've been doing today." And it's it's authentic, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, um, he's 
just got a massive following even Lando Norris um, that's great for him absolutely brilliant well to be fair Max is taller than Lando so that's very understandable hi Lando right thank you very much good luck uh, Andrew Mather over to you I found Will Archer Will good day today uh, talk was about it uh, so it's been alright we started off the morning not very well but uh, heat one we had a great start but just didn't really race very well and then the heat two we went like second to last on the first lap and then made our way back through the field setting good laps and then yeah so we ended off the day well started not very good tough circuit this it's kind of got a bit of everything the straights the the technical bits what's this uh, what's this new chassis like to drive it's really good like a lot of grip so it's really good what's what's different with it to what you've maybe experienced before it's just, it's a normal OTK chassis, isn't it? Just painted differently and cooled differently. It feels pretty normal, but yeah, it's just, it's good. Hopes for tomorrow? Uh, hopefully we make the final and the pre-final. And yeah, hope, our aim is just a top, uh, like, 25 in the A final, because we're a rookie, so it'll be good. Good stuff. Well, uh, well, well done once again, Will. Uh, I think we've... Have we got Angus? Yeah, we have got Angus. Oh, it's too uh, much. I think we've got Angus uh, as well. A very cosmopolitan awning. So you've mm. got Zenek Babacek from the Czech Republic. You've got Gustav Uzakovs representing Latvia. Teresa Babic-Kova, I think, is in this audience. Well. Hasnain Khan, how's your day been, young man? Uh, good. We finished 10th in qualifying in our group, and then we finished 9th in our first heat. Then we've got another heat tomorrow. Now, I met your mum and your younger brother at the Open at Wilt Mill. Is your younger brother wearing his Lucky Wellies and his Batman T-shirt, which is very, very important, everybody? He's coming tomorrow, so he might be. Well, I think if you tell him tonight, tell him if he's not wearing... Miss young, young Master Khan, if you're not wearing your Lucky Wellies and your, bad, uh, your Batman T-shirt, Hasnain's not going to do very well tomorrow. So the pressure's on, yeah? Yeah. OK, thank you very much. I want to work with Angus Scrivener because I, I want to find out uh, what was going uh, on at the start of his first race. Oh, yes, because yeah, he had decided some, to not start was, properly, didn't he? Mm. Angus, uh, come on back in. What, what, what was going on first race? Um, I got a 10 second penalty when I was in 10th, which is quite unfortunate. It just kind of ruined my whole race so far, so yeah. The start looked a bit hectic as well. Yeah, yeah it was. Got put on the grass in the first start because the guy in front of me, his car broke down, so yeah. Uh, you can fly back tomorrow, can't you? You've yeah. got, you got the good race pace. Hopefully, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be in the B final. I'm going to be probably quite close, but I see hopefully tomorrow goes well. So. But you can overtake round here, so if it's an unfortunate B final start, you can race through, can't you? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Hunter Motorsport, you know, the new chassis treating you well as well? Yeah, I'm really liking the new chassis. It's got so much so much grip and it's just a really good chassis overall. Good stuff. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you again. Uh, we'll see you out there again tomorrow, Angus. I, th I think that's a good the, wrap up of, of Hunter Motorsport. Right, um, so we've got to try and get out of here, which is a bit like the Crystal Maze. Ah, yes. Is. So we've got to go out here. Out here. Uh, I tell you what, Mr. Cameraman. I, oh, hang you on. You go first. You go, there you go, Mr. Cameraman. Aren't I a gentleman, Mr. Cameraman? Mm, yes, I am. Some, there we some go. Sometimes, sometimes. Uh, we'll We're go this way. We're up. still going this way. Uh, yeah, correct side. There's uh, always good. So uh, the MLC uh, P1 uh, power team. A uh, slow. Not I say slow day. That's not the correct word. A tough day for them. Yeah. Uh, um, so far, uh, Tyler Harris uh, was a r mid 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 pack. Fifteenth mid place kind of place. Uh, let's have a little look up here. We got uh, trucks and lorries behind there. That kind of say that strawberry racing truck always super duper impressive um now there's going to be people ah i tell you what lewis malin is walking this way here's an intro so lewis malin is mechanic for tooley motorsport uh william pemble is lewis's driver um is this mandatory but it is yes. it is absolutely it's, it, it's says like, in the regulations. it says in the regulations it says the regulations <laughs> uh number one mr pemble didn't have a great start or didn't start at all but how did he recover uh the second heat we drove all right just a bit bland really just, <laughs> <laughs> just cruise around in 15th 13th just a nice saturday afternoon drive just waving to his mum as he goes past <laughs> not really just uh, the race didn't really go away oh, okay fair enough. Uh, how because it's only william's second year isn't it yeah 60 drivers you know such a world-class mm. field you know 
how do you sort of temper expectations or what do you say you know because it's unrealistic to expect him to go out and be top 10 you know against that in, in year two isn't it you've known me long enough to know I can't say that on this <laughs> <laughs> anyway yes 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 get out there and get it mm, done that's the basic yeah swimming along those lines yeah swimming along those lines okay right then which way should we go tell it which way should we, should we be that way Lewis should we go this way or should we go that way uh, I'll go find strawberry Five strawberry. Really? Do we have to? <laughs> oh, go on then. Cheers, Lewis Mayne and everybody. Uh, let's go down this way, shall we? Yes. I don't know if the the minis and the micros tend to so because we didn't talk to them yesterday. We had a we had a good chat with uh, with some of the older oh. uh, strawberry racing drivers yesterday. Obviously, yes. we'll be back with uh, the X30 classes here. Just want to say, you know. So sorry for the loss of Sherry Barrett, uh, Mick and Dan and the rest of the family. You're in our thoughts. Um, but I'm sure you'll cover that at the IAMI we round. Were. There we are indeed. 15 privateers here. 15 of them have an entry of 200, which is good. And you can see now, there we go. There we, you, you've got, right, bring, bring him out here. See, now look at this. This, this is how, this, this is real that. karting. Wagon and bed and injured driver alert our oh, first no. casualty of the 2024 season right come this way aiden mitchell first things first uh vice champion in tkm last year moved across to rotax this year really strong performance at the o plate and you were involved in that nasty accident going under the bridge uh, we saw you come into the pit lane obviously we're okay but not 100 percent perfect yeah, I've got a fractured hand, so... Fractured hand? Yeah, weekend's over for me. Weekend's yeah. over. So, okay, well, uh, very sorry to that. You know, mum, dad, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really tough for a driver. You could come and maybe do a bit of... Are you going home tonight? Uh, or are you going to stay to watch tomorrow? Probably, yeah. I think we'll probably go back. I think probably... Well, you know, sleeping in that, in that bunk up there with a the fractured hand, you know, especially. <laughs> but, you know, Progno, how long till the next round at Lark Hall? Uh, four to five weeks. You'll be back, won't you? Yeah, yeah okay, you'll see. be back, you'll be back. There we go. Mum, Dad, okay. Here's an interesting thing. So we talk about this. Um, mum, karting mum, when you see little baby, okay, little baby, but senior senior driver, little baby, but, you know, what goes through mum's mind when the carts go under the bridge and then you're waiting for more to come out and yours doesn't? Uh, it's horrifying, really. Um, I mean, I kind of knew we were above the bridge and I saw him go in and I heard a bang and I just had a funny feeling. And so I started to make, make my way down, but I'm just sort of it, glad it's not as... Yeah, it, cause it, OK, sporting parents, you know, I'm a sporting parent, but, you know, basketball, you know, you, you, it's there in front of you. It's it's. I mean, it's hard being a, a motorsport parent anyway, just because of the, 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 say, the cost, sacrifice, things like that. But, you know, whereas dad is more kind of concerned about equipment and setup and tyre pressures and all that. Kind of, Mum is more concerned with the, the, the squishy bits in the middle of the, of the metal bit, aren't you? Yes, very much so. <laughs> dad was concerned about the squishy bit as well, but generally it's, uh, you know, the, the weight of sort of the, all the trials weight is on the mums, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm the most worried. He doesn't worry about himself. He's, he's just worried. Uh, he, in fact, the only thing he was worried about was whether when he can go back racing, that's what he's asking the doctor like how am I going to be out how long am I going to be out for and do you think I'm going to be able to race in two weeks and, and, and you're thinking oh do you know what this is a great time to take up the sport of darts yeah. <laughs> best of luck uh, the commiserations we'll see you at the circuit very soon yes. there we go the Thank life you. the trials and tribulations of a cart and mum and uh, an injured driver yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's oh, never no, nice when, it, when, it, when it happens, but uh, oh, I can speak from personal experience. You can come back from that. It's, it, yeah, and yeah. probably come back even quicker than he was before. Yeah, exactly, you know, because there's those who have hit the wall and there's yeah. those that are going to hit the wall. Yeah. And he's hit the wall quite literally. Now he knows, OK, whatever it hurts, you know, things you know, will come back. Uh, the Zip team are down here. Yes. Should we have a little wander, Mr Cameraman? Let's have a little look. Uh, so we're going to have a... So Zip... Uh, in Honda Cadets, we had good. one Honda Cadet. They had a one-two finish. Kevin Ivanov and Archie Loveridge. Um, they're always a bit of a quiet zip on it. Very quiet. I don't think they're Empty. Not, have they all gone to bed? They've all gone to bed early. Look at this. This, oh, it's almost spooky, isn't it? It's like, it's, it's, 
you know, it's the night before a big battle and all the horses are sleeping in their pens waiting to be uh, given the charge of the light brigade or something like that. I wax lyrical. But there's no one in here to interview, so let's, uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. But I do think for, for Zip tomorrow, some good chances, not just in Honda Cadet. They've got some good experience around here yep. as well. In, in They know how to set a cart up for the big one round uh, round this place that we've seen in yes. previous rounds and, and cart masses uh, as well. So. Uh, I, I hear oh, some yeah. shouting. Uh, well, I'm gonna, oh, no. We're, should we, should we interrupt someone Saturday night? Yes. Yeah, let's go. Definitely. Right, we're going to come in here. We're going to come in here with a camera. There's dogs, there's kids, there's everything. We're going to bring a camera in here. More evening all. Right. Hopefully, What's the you're tea? All, hopefully you're not. Oh, not this, this is how the other half live. Right. Let's have a sit down, shall we? This is nice, isn't it? Come, come, oh, come on. Come and sit down here now. I'll tell you what. We'll. Look at this. Right. It's no longer a paddock show, it's a, it's it's a paddock a, uh, lounge. First things first, there's a driver over by there, but we'll sit there. Right, first things first, welcome to Chez... Starbucks. Chez Starbucks. So this is Mrs. Starbuck, and that would be Zach Starbuck. <laughs> Andrew, you... Are... Costa, as you said last week. Exactly, Costa. Mm. Yeah, Chez Costa. Right, you take it away. Uh, <laughs> Zach, summary of the day. Pretty comfortable now in the motorhome. Yeah, um, it's been a bit of a weird day. We had a bit of an incident in Heat 1 which took us out, but we got back to 13th, which is all right, and then went from 16th to 6th in the second heat, but then got an in-race penalty, unfortunately. So. But good race pace, especially yeah. that, that move up through the field. Yeah, we've been fast. We've been fast all day, so it's a lot, a lot of, there's a lot of way to go, if, but we're still fast. What's what's it like travelling around the country as well in 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 this? It's quite a bit of a cushy setup. Setup, you got here. Well, technically, it's not actually <laughs> it's ours. Not. Oh, it's not <laughs> yours, it's not it's not is it? Then <laughs> we just Alfie get crashed. Mare, you know oh, so Alfie Mayer. So this is Alfie Mayer's gaff. <laughs> yeah. So he's gone to a restaurant, but we've <laughs> and you and you've commandeered. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> we're we're staying in here tonight, so we just thought let's have a tour round. Why? Why not? And you've invited us in as well. Well, this will all go out on the paddock show later. Excellent. On the premiere <laughs> during during the uh, during the lunch. Break yeah. and uh, hi, Alfie. It'll be known forevermore. Okay. Henry, I, I think we best make our. Yeah, I think we right. best go. Thank you, Zach. Yeah, I think we best thank take you, our. Mrs. Thank uh, you, thank you, thank you. Very good. Very good. Excellent, anyway, excellent, excellent. Right, excellent. right then. Um, Moving at on. At least they've done the dishes. Right there we Keep are. Keep it tidy in there. <laughs> huh. Leave okay. it as you found it. Oh dearie me. Uh, okay, the outer paddocks out there. We've got three minutes to go. Let's have a quick round the corner. Um, yeah, it, it, it can help you. You don't have to drive back to hotels, or you've just got a good mate who leaves their motorhome door <laughs> open when they go out for dinner. There you go. Ah, Pro, pro train. train. Let's 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 end pro up train Pro and Train and JDR this weekend as well, because they're because oh, uh, yes. Jack yeah. and the team are all in here. They, they've again had some decent results. Yes, indeed. Uh, and of course they've got Shane Chandaria from Kenry. Yeah. They've got Jack Collins, who's there. They've got Jack Dex racing in there. Oh, and Neve. Oh, now this is the the table of doom. Nobody wants to be on the table of doom on a Saturday evening, do they? It's not my go kart. So well, it's a go kart. It's, it's a go kart. It's, 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 it's not mine, though. It's not your go kart. But, but what what is um, exp for, in layman's terms, we talk about the table. Of doom. What is this, and what are you doing? Well, we're fixing a crash go kart. That's, yes. That's simple. It, so this is a uh, high-tech, multi-million-dollar sport. Yeah. If all else fails, hit it with a large bit of steel. Yeah, use a massive metal bar and uh, a bit of manpower. A bit of manpower, right? We're going to go and find a couple of them then. Uh, <laughs> but okay, this is not what you want to be seeing. You know, the Kenyan flag for Shane Chandaria. It's a long way to travel to break your go kart on the first lap, isn't it? Yes, it's definitely not ideal. It was quite a big one as well. It was. It was. We were watching. It, it we was. Were. Uh, it was less than three, less than four wheels left on the wagon, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It, well, it made the grandstand go silent. Oh, okay. Is, is he all right? Where's, where is Shane? He's, he's now home. Oh, okay. Is he out tomorrow? Yeah, he'll be fine. Right, what's going on here? Oh, this I t oh dear, there's a table there. Right, let's go and we'll finish the paddock show by hijacking a high rig. Another, this is another, another vehicle. Oh, it's Richard Locke. Richard Locke and Trevor from Motorsport UK. I tell you what, let's have a look at you. What's going on here? Right. Oh this my word, wagon, this is going to be the first one. Richard, we've got two minutes to tell everybody how amazing tomorrow's broadcast is going to be uh, from PFI. Right, 
to the camera. What can we expect tomorrow, today, or for the finals, which they're going to be watching straight after this goes out? I think we've got some uh, very fantastic sighting racing ahead of us tomorrow. The weather's going to be dry as today. So, um, yeah, I think we've got some of the top drivers in the world racing this championship. So it's up for grabs tomorrow, absolutely. Excellent. Has this truck got one of those horns that you pulled down, like in the film Convoy? Yep, there you go. <laughs> Hey, there we go, Andrew Mather. That made me jump. Finish, finish the paddock show we go. This we, is great. We, we, we hijacked a transporter, we've hijacked a, a, a motorhome, Katie McQueen broke and fixed a, a microphone, and we had some interviews in the middle. That was the paddock show. You never know what you're going to get. Never know. That's a wrap. Whatever's coming up, we'll see, we'll see you tomorrow. Chaos. 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 We'll see you tomorrow.